Hi there, my name is Lo. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything between Hermes and grocery bags. Today I'm doing the silly bag tag, not because I've been tagged, but just because I'm silly and I want to do it. I thought this is a fun tag to do because luxury handbags are quite a bit, I feel, about being silly. And we often don't buy the things that are the most practical in our lives, but we buy the things that we enjoy the most because we think they are just beautiful. So I'm doing five categories for this video. The first one being impractical bags and I think the most impractical bag I definitely have in my collection even though I actually have quite a number of impractical bags in terms of just being fuzzy, being very insecure, that kind of stuff. But the most impractical bag is of course the Le Chiquito from Jacques Mousse. This bag is so tiny it doesn't even fit my flip phone. Technically it does fit but the flap doesn't close because this bag really tapers in at the top. I really try to avoid buying bags that will not even fit my Galaxy Z Flip because most bags actually don't really have a problem fitting that. In any case, very cute statement piece. This has been popular for a number of years, sort of decreasing in popularity now, but I really wanted to have it in my collection and if it mostly sits on the shelf then so be it. The second category is delicate bags. I don't really have a lot of delicate bags. Like I try not to get delicate bags because I do want to use them and I already baby my bags quite a bit, but I really don't want them to get like very significantly damaged because that would just break my heart. So I think the most delicate bag I have in my collection is this Flamengo bag from Loewe. This is in the medium or the regular size. This bag is made of Napa calfskin, which is already fairly delicate. I will definitely not take it out in the rain, also because this is such a light color. I'm kind of concerned about color transfer, so I also don't wear it with any dark clothing. Given that it's low away, this leather is probably more durable than I think it is, but I'm just very, very cautious with it. Moving on to the category of most expensive bag. I decided in this case not to go with the most expensive bag. I definitely wanted to point out the bag that is getting horrible cost per wear, which is this Balenciaga Classic Neo City bag. So I think I got this like one or two months before all the drama went down with Balenciaga. Then I had worn it perhaps once or twice because I do have a lot of bags and I rotate them quite a bit. And of course, ever since the Balenciaga scandal, controversy, whatever you want to call it, this bag just doesn't spark a lot of joy with me anymore. So to be honest, I did wear it once in the past week, but it still doesn't really sit right with me. So it's mostly just sitting on my shelf and I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do with this. So in terms of cost per wear, this is already one of the most expensive bags in my collection. And because it's just not really getting anywhere, it is definitely the most expensive one to me. I really continue to be unsure about what to do with this bag. I once thought it was beautiful, but now it's not getting worn. Then the fourth category, which is bags that are out there. I don't really have any bags that scream like, oh, look at me. I'm a very sparkly or shiny bag. I don't do feathers or crystals or fur or sequins. That is also related to those types usually being a bit more delicate. So the bag that I actually chose is this Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. And the reason I chose it is just because of its size. Whenever I wear this bag, I get comments about this bag because it is just so huge and because it's black, it also usually really stands out. If I take it to the office, it will stand on my desk and it will take up half the space on my desk or it will just sit on a cupboard somewhere and it will take up half the space on that cupboard. So for me, this is one of the bags that is really out there usually because I just always get comments about this one, but I wouldn't wear it any less because of that, because I really do like this bag. Getting attention, that's really just, I feel, what it's made for. I love it in all of its black massiveness. And I've done a number of videos about this bag, like its own review video and a comparison video, and I will tell you each and every time, it is super heavy. Don't get this bag if you have to tow it around a lot. But if you're looking for like a travel bag that you can just toss in your car, because you also cannot like really take this on an airplane, I think it's just too big, too stiff. It's not gonna go under the chair in front of you or in the overhead compartment all that easily. But anyway, beautiful bag, great travel bag, or even a great work bag if you have to take a lot of things to work, but only if you can just toss it in your car or you have to walk a couple of minutes to wherever you need to be. And then the final category that I wanted to go through today is trend bags. I have this J.W. Anderson Pierce bag over here 
this was like an extremely hyped bag a number of years ago everybody needed to have it i think it also gave quite a lot of popularity to jw anderson back in that time but it was also a one-hit wonder you saw it for i think a couple of years and now it's also gone nobody talks about this anymore it's not being produced anymore and a lot of people will then just say this is a trend bag and now it's horribly outdated so i've even been more silly because i didn't buy this bag when it was a trend bag but i bought this bag I would have to say heavily discounted because otherwise I might not have gotten it but I bought this bag when it was already out of production and out of style but the JW Anderson Pierce bag is one of the first bags that ever got me interested into this luxury designer handbag kind of thing so for me it's also some sort of nostalgia if that makes sense I never had it but it brings me back to the time that this bag was popular and that I started falling in love with these handbags even though this bag is perhaps considered a silly purchase. It is in fact a fairly practical bag. It has a flap and it is a fairly spacious bag as well. You can take off the strap. So even though I like the strap that comes with this bag, I think it's very suitable. It is quite short. So I don't really use this bag with this strap, but because it is detachable, you can just put whatever strap on there you like. And because this bag is in black, it's very easy to combine with other straps. So yeah, that is my silly bag selection. Not per se even my silly bag collection. Silly is very subjective, obviously. If I have to count all of the bags that are impractical, or impractical for my lifestyle one way or the other we could probably sit here all day long in any case if you're interested in doing this tag please go ahead i'm very interested to see what other people have to say about this it's also very fun to see these silly bags being acknowledged by people because there's really no need to defend the selena's or back collections as i said at the beginning we buy these bags not usually because definitely not only out of practicality but quite often also just because we think they're beautiful and they spark joy within us so that's it for today if you have any questions about these bags feel free to drop them down below in the comments and i'll get back to you remember for now there's a styling a situation and a taste for everything so don't judge wear whatever the bag you like until next time or as we would say in dutch doei <laughs>